Good day, Grade 10 class. This is Teacher Lizelle, and welcome to Science 10 Virtual Class. Where were you last January 12, 2020? Can you still remember the catastrophic event that occurred that day? If you're thinking about the last historic eruption of the Al Volcano, then you're right. Last January 12, 2020, the Taal Volcano awoke after 43 years of silence since its last eruption in October 1977 and began spewing gases and ash. People living in the metro even experienced ash fall. In the days and weeks that followed, the eruption dropped a layer of unusually wet, heavy ash in the surrounding landscape, withering vegetation and turning the lush fields and forests of Volcano Island a ghostly gray. Taal Volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in the Philippines aside from the famous Mayon Volcano. As an archipelago blessed with beautiful natural landforms, the Philippines is rich in dormant and active volcanoes. As a country with numerous active volcanoes, we have high risk of disaster. Earthquakes due to volcanic activities are very common in the country. It is likely that volcanoes are present in every region. Have you wondered why there are so many volcanoes in the Philippines? Let's study the map of active volcanoes around the world. How are volcanoes distributed on the map? Where are they located? As you can see, Volcanoes are not randomly distributed over the Earth's surface. Majority of them are found along the edges of some continents, particularly in the western coast of North and South America, East and Southeast Asia. This zone, rich in volcanic landforms, is where the Philippine archipelago is located. It forms a ring of volcanoes that cause earthquakes. This region is called Pacific Ring of Fire or the Circum-Pacific Belt. The Pacific Ring of Fire is an approximately 40,000 km horseshoe-shaped basin along the Pacific Ocean characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. The majority of Earth's volcanoes and earthquakes take place along the Ring of Fire. It traces boundaries between several tectonic plates, including the Pacific, Juan de Fuca, Caucasus, Indian Australian, Nazca, North American, and Philippine plates. 75% of Earth's volcanoes, more than 450 volcanoes, are located along the Ring of Fire. 90% of Earth's earthquakes occur along its path, including the planet's most violent and dramatic seismic events. Tectonic activity in the Philippines is one of the most active in the world, characterized by a number of earthquakes and active volcanic activities. Our country sits on a unique tectonic setting, ideal for volcanic and earthquake activity. It is situated at the boundaries of two tectonic plates, the Philippine Sea Plate and the Eurasian Plate, both of which subduct or dive beneath archipelago along the deep trenches and along its east and west seaboard. What describes volcanic activity? Emission of gases flowing of lava outside the surface and sudden violent explosive bursts are some of the characteristics that describe a volcanic activity. Boyan molten rock, also known as magma, rises toward the surface, eventually forming a magma chamber. Some of these molten materials may ascend to the Earth's surface and are extruded as lava during a volcanic eruption. In the Philippines, most active volcanoes are found in volcanic arcs. What are volcanic arcs? Volcanic arcs are chains of volcanoes formed by subducting plates. There are five distinct volcanic arcs in the Philippines. 
These are Luzon Volcanic Arc, East Philippine Volcanic Arc, Negros Panay Arc, Sulu Sumbuanga Arc, and there is an institute in the Philippines mandated to monitor volcanic activities. This is FIVOX, or Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. It is a service institute of the Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, that is principally mandated to mitigate disasters that may arise from volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, and other geotectonic phenomena. As of 2018, VVOX has recorded 24 active volcanoes out of 407 volcanoes identified in the Philippines. When is a volcano considered active? What are the other classifications of volcanoes? Based on eruptive history, TVOX classifies volcanoes into active, potentially active, and inactive volcanoes. A volcano is considered active if it erupted within historic times. Accounts of these eruptions were documented by man erupted within the last 10,000 years based on the analysis of material from young volcanic deposits. The term historical times in the Philippines refers to the period within the last 600 years. Here are some of the active volcanoes in the Philippines. Mayon Volcano Located in Albay, is the most active volcano in the country. It is famous for its almost perfect cone shape. It is a stratovolcano with an elevation of 2.46 kilometers and a base diameter of 20 kilometers. Fivox has recorded 52 historic eruptions of Mayon Volcano. Its latest eruption activity was a Strombolian last January 13, 2018. Next on the list is Taal Volcano in Batangas. It is a volcanic caldera composed of several active volcanic landforms, making it a complex type of volcano. Taal is part of a group of volcanoes on the Makolot Corridor. It has a main crater lake which is blue-green in color and is 1.9 kilometers in diameter. The volcano has 47 craters in total, according to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. The rest of the volcano is below sea level. Taal Volcano features a caldera that also has water in it. The lake within a lake view made the area a popular tourist attraction. There are 34 recorded historic eruptions, one of which happened last January 12, 2020. Another active volcano in the Philippines is Canlaon Volcano located in Negros Oriental. It is 2,435,000 2, kilometers in elevation with a base diameter of 30 kilometers. FIVOX has recorded 42 historic eruptions. Its latest activity was recorded last December 20, 2017. Next on our list is Bulusan Volcano, located in the province of Sorsogon. It is a stratovolcano formed inside the caldera. It has several craters and fractures along with four different hot springs adjacent to it. It has 38 recorded eruptions, the latest of which was on June 5, 2017. The next type of volcanoes, according to VBOX, is potentially active volcanoes. These volcanoes do not have any historical record of any eruption, but are considered as morphologically young. There are also suspected seismic activity and documented local ground deformation. Here are some potentially active volcanoes. Last classification of volcanoes is inactive volcanoes. 
these are volcanoes without any recorded eruptions for at least 10,000 years and are not expected to erupt in the future. The morphology of these volcanoes was already modified by weathering and erosion. Few of the named inactive volcanoes in other areas are Bolod in Sulu, Montes in Negros Oriental, Burgos in Nueva Ecija, Calayan in Cagayan, and Canipo in Palawan. That's it for our lesson today. Thank you for watching this click vid. This has been Teacher Lizelle for ClickGen.